Hey, hi guys. Hey. Uh, you guys look amazing, by the way. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on season two. It's amazing. I loved it. I loved it. I'm obsessed. Oh, and uh, I'm just going to get straight to the questions because my time is literally little. So I'm going to start with Tumi. I love Tumi. Literally from season one, I was rooting for her. Like, I was rooting for Tumi and I feel like she's being misunderstood. Let's forget episode four because you know that. But um, how do you uh, feel about that? Or do you also have a different opinion on Tumi's actions and all? Sure. So, uh... Busi, then remember, Busi has to be responsible for Dumi, right? In the truth. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, ah, what, 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 a, what a gift. What a gift to be given to play, right? And like you said, if you tap into really, really taking time to get to know her, you start understanding that, no, she, she's just misunderstood. You know what I mean? She's, yeah. um, the, the black sheep concept should, the black sheep con um, concept is what has tainted her world. You know what I mean? It's there's only so much you can tell. It's like a four-year-old kid. If you tell a four-year-old child that they're dumb, trust the child grows up thinking that they're dumb and they never yeah. sort of accept their potential. So um, as it was with touching Christmas season one, season two, the exploration of who Dumi is in growth kind of makes you go, yeah. is, is she going to be a better person or is the version of her, the, the outsiders, have they now started contending with they, um, irresponsibilities have they started contending with their flaws um through to yeah. so i mean how, how surprising is that that the, the one that you taint as a black sheep makes you contend with your truth um, yeah so that's really really what i've, what I've enjoyed um with rolling with you yeah yeah and then we got introduced to kaya and Dumi's relationship this season too which was kind of uh you know they had a lot of things there and i feel like for me with kaya he wasn't really that much into to me for him it was just this dream of um having a wife and all that and lulu uh, like i feel like his focus was more on lulu how um how, how how do you feel about that or was it just um i think kaya might have over just <clears throat> Um, into being a father and exactly for instance Tumi is bending with being called the black sheep of the family and yeah. she's had to contend with that um for 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 her entire life and I think for Kaya he's just he's just gotten something new which is what does it mean to be a father what does it mean to be um you know a family man what what, what does that mean and he's taking everything that is read, being told, have seen, and he's trying to put together this perfect picture of a family. Yeah. I, think he, 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 I think he needs to see that, that listen, yeah. it's not what people say, what this is, it's about what, yeah. you, what you feel it yeah. is and what the person yeah. next to you feels it is. So I think he might have over adjusted in that he's trying to create this fairy tale world where everything is perfect where you have a house, you have this, you have that, and you have all these things, and everybody that you love is under one roof, and that is what it's supposed to be. And I think because Dumi is a little bit, I would say, lack of a better description, ahead of the curve, which is like, yeah. we don't need to adhere to what the society and everybody else says. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to define for ourselves what these things are, and I think that's where you know, you 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 see this yeah. this 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 mixture that that is, is that is happening in the story between the two characters. So yeah, um, I mean, look, I think his heart is in the right place. He's trying yeah. to do the right Obviously. thing, but it, it, he might be going about it not in the way that he should. Be. Yeah, and well, um, Kaya, Kaya is again what 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 Jimmy brings out to people is that. Kaya, I think, is also so misunderstood, right? Because yeah. um, I, with, 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 as the relationship builds and grows, for Dumi, it's a, um, I cannot be misunderstood alone to come here and be misunderstood in a unit. It makes mm -hmm. no sense, right? Mm -hmm. And what's mis, what, what, of, what in relationships, I think in a lot of, because you're relating is related to family, yeah. friends, right? And what you see in that is that the relationship in, in and of itself starts making Kaya feel slightly misplaced because he's yeah. saying, I, I take you, I take you as you are, mm -hmm. right? And then I'm taking you in my world. But he yeah. forgets to kind of go 
but my world doesn't permit you to be yourself. Yes, yeah. because there's this tendency, right, where we take people um, as they are and we're like, okay, in this world that I've created, mm-hmm. without you, this is where you fit in. This is who yeah. you're going to be in this world. As you are, but this is who you're going to be. Yeah. And without realizing that, that that's in conflict with who the person yeah. is. And when and then there's misunderstanding or rather like, like communication, I don't know what to call it. There's a break where both people don't understand. Why is it? Isn't this what you want? Uh-huh. And in the yeah. business, it is what I want, but not like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and there was a lot of growth for uh, Domi this season, but I have to ask this question. There's this scene where uh, she's in um, um, La Keke, the club or whatever, when she's on the pole. Are you used to that or did you uh, prepare for that scene? Because I was like, okay, she's she's gone, she's gone. Fuck, you know, into the river. Would you sign me? That was good for you? <laughs> no, I'm really asking, did you uh, prepare for that or was it like, yes, okay, yes, we know you can do this? My parents, I think my parents read your newspaper. So um, <laughs> I'm going to say it's all foreign. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but it's that thing, um, again, because the beauty of being a performer is that you don't come as yourself, right? And what yeah. you think wonderful about having played through me is and being directed by the super girls, you know, we get the directors who say part of being Dumi is you've got to let go because Dumi generally yeah. as, as a human being, the, the one thing she masters is the, is the idea and the ideology that it is okay to let go. There is, there's no resistant band to life. You know what I mean? That's, that's gym, that's exercise. And so that was fun because I think it's, uh, we say it all the time, comedy is often in pain, but it's also a yes game. So if you resist, yeah. If you, if, you, if, you, if you resist and portray those characters, you are going to have a problem. Basically, you're going to be a bad actor. I'm not trying to be a bad Yeah, actor. I get <laughs> it. <laughs> and then we were having a conversation, I think, last week when the other show that you were on, uh, Yonda, and uh, we were saying you are literally like the king of rom-com. And what I like about it is that it, they are not really the same characters, but they're different because, you know, that character, we were like, no, we don't play with that. But how do you prepare for that? Or do you usually just go for when you audition that, okay, I want something like this or like this or like that? Um, I, think, I think it's, it's, it's Ubusi has touched on it. It's, it's yeah. about being honest and, and just letting yeah. it go. And really, I think the chefs at Bent Onion, they did a wonderful job with the script because what you do is you read the script and you are able to let go and just let yeah. that take over and you trust in the writing that it will take you to the places where you need to go. And so if you trust the writing, you pr- and you read the character and the character just kind of, you know, comes off the page, um, it's much easier to just let go. Mm. And, and it makes your preparation that much easier. I mean, like, yeah, you still have to prepare because an actor prepares. Yes. Uh, but I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, I, think, I think you have to go to a place where you say yes to the offering that the script is making. You say yes to the offerings that your, 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 your colleagues are making mm-hmm. to you on the scene. You have to be accepting, like, I mean, I was talking about us running lines, you know, I mean, I'm like, how do you, how do you think I should say, say this? Yeah, I mean, right. I'm having a problem with this and then they give you an offering. So a lot of preparation is a preparation you do on your own, the one that you do with the people that you're gonna be working with. I mean, with the script, with the script writers, with the director, so I think if you allow yourself and you say yes to all those processes, you'll find yourself in a place where the character is authentic, mm. it's real, and it's coming from a place where it's honest. And to top that, yeah. um, I think what, what, what people are not going to get, kudos, because it's funny that people will continue to ask this question of you, Anga, and I'm going, are you guys aware that this guy has got to be so good that you genuinely believe that's who he is? <laughs> <laughs> that you did that it's hard it's hard what they don't understand is when people truly truly believe that that's really 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 the do you choose these roles it's them kind of it's that like we don't give ourselves the relief someone give you the relief it's that when you when you honor a character so beautifully that you start being asked about yourself and the character you go yeah i am not a wizard mm, yeah I'm so not. uh 
<laughs> That's great. I like that. And uh, there's, uh, I wanted to ask everyone this uh, with a beauty situation where she goes and looks for her dad and trying to reconnect with her. Do you feel like she did that because um, she wanted some sort of uh, belonging? or just to bond with your father because that's what she needs in her life. Do you believe that somehow in your life you do need to um, reconnect with your dad, even though you know that he literally just left me? So, so I, I think this one, pretty technical, I can say this. So story asks and tropes, right? Is if yeah. you look at it, is every single character sort of almost journey is the same. It's um, yeah. sort of like connecting to your truth, right? Yeah. Dealing with the pain, and what human beings do, it's one of those, when you're searching, when you're searching for yourself, it's often in the wrong places. And so, yeah, UT sort of like insisting upon life being so perfect, right? That's the mistake of assuming that going, going to fetch something that never wanted you, what did, what, what did you want him to do, love? Split his head open, you know what I mean? So it's, it's the same. So do me is when people say to me scared of love, they don't get that she's actually searching for the kind of love that she responds to, right? Mm -hmm. And the pain comes in the fact mm -hmm. that she searches for it, validating others before herself. Beauty wanting to find her father, he left you. You know what I mean? And yeah. if you, want to, if you when people when people want to leave you, it takes a long time to realize that you're gonna let them leave. You know what I mean? With Kaya, it's equally the same thing. He he comes back to find his best friend, right? But also yeah doesn't realize that he's got to deal with the pain of losing the other best friend, his mother, mm -hmm. first, before assuming yeah. he's got to be there to kind of be like the, the Ernesto Blaster of life. No, it doesn't work like that. So it's that, the, the tropes of, of, of beautifully skilled and wonderfully written, um, especially rom-coms, is that you find that comedy is often found in, in pain. In pain. Yeah. Can I just add a little bit to what you said? I think what you guys, the beautiful thing that you guys did, and I don't know if that, I mean, it translated to me, it was so obvious when I saw it. I was like, here's Dumi. Dumi has never gone to search for her father. Mm -hmm. She's well, never, father, yeah. yeah, she's never been like, well, I actually need to find him to find myself, right? She's never had that because she's, yeah. she, she, she was content in defining who she is for herself because she was like, I'm no longer going to let people define who I am yeah. for me. I'm the black sheep. I'm this, I'm the toxic one. I'm not going to let people do that. I'm going to be who I am and I don't need to find it in anyone. Mm -hmm. And here's beauty going, I need to find it to find out who I am and where I belong. And, you know, she, she needs that validation. And, and to me throughout the journey is like, you don't, mm -hmm. but if this is really what you need to do, I'll do it with you, right? I'll go there. I'll take you there if this is what you really need to do. And I think that that you see the difference in that, in that there are people and it's okay for you not to need anybody else or to yeah. need to be validated externally. But it is okay for us to validate ourselves internally and to say, this is who I am. It doesn't matter what you think I am. And a lot of times I think um, a lot of people, as people, we want society to validate us yeah. to say, Oh, yeah. you're a great human being. You are a lovely person because you do A, B, and C. And just because you don't do A, B, and C, now all the, the rest of the people that don't do A, B, and C, we, you know, you get left out to be to feel like you are not great people. Yeah. You know, these are the great yeah. people. You are just people. Yeah. Just people. And do you guys are so well. Thanks. And I think you portrayed us very well. Thanks. Master <laughs> That's great. Um, this is when we had a lot of legends. Like I was really amazed. Like a lot of guys were there. Do you is there any character or anyone that you wish you had done more scenes with on the show? Uh, sure. Like I, I don't I don't think you guys get I don't think you you guys get it. It's like uh what we felt, right, in understanding and seeing the people who have joined us, right? I think you guys think it's like, oh. No, it's like this is happening, this is happening. to me, right? So yeah, and it, even with the younger cast, there's absolutely no one you don't want to kind of like uh, bounce um off with. And I don't think there's anyone you wish you could have done more with because you kind of go the blessing in itself. You know what I mean? Kind of say, yeah. you know, um, here it is. Here's 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 the hard work that you put it to get here showing up for you. But then it, it, then then it's, it's it's then when you kind of go now you're gonna start working. You know what I mean? The responsibility is not it's not over. So um there isn't any one person we want to do more scenes with but i think yeah. what it is to continue 
that'll like shine this lovely little tool so that the next project you jump into uh, Netflix, how to do Christmas dreams, like, you know, um, <laughs> what it is, is that you, it is you, coming. I know. What did they tell you? Hey. Did they tell you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying you are going to get season because this is amazing. Thank you so Thank much. You. So for me, I think <laughs> What she said, I mean, I, like, I, I think I, I, when I saw the audition, so audition, so I was coming out of the audition and she was going in and I was like, I don't think I told you before, I was like, okay, so this is, this is, this is serious business. I mean, they, they, they mean business. They call the Wuzi, yeah, they mean business. And I think it's, it's that as well, the people that we've, we've had the honor to work with. Yeah. It's like you want to work with them over and mm -hmm. over again because all of them bring something different to the table. All of them teach something different. I mean, sitting and just having a conversation with the moose, like I said, is like having a master class in, in humanity, in, in, in knowing yourself and in acting and being a yeah. big artist and being an actor. Um, I think it's like you sit there and you look and you learn so much by just sitting with the person and you're like, you walk away from it going, man, this was more than what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be an acting job, but it's taught me so much in, 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 in who you are as a performer, who yeah. we are as people, and in relationships. As yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah. So I have um, one last question because my time is up. How has Devin, my people treat you right, or what happened? I said, French word. <laughs> yes, we come on to um as he win Jebas over J fine, you got away all and come on as cats with my bash job ladies out before the two behind that to match of us. Yeah, that's that's how we are. I mean yeah. <laughs> weather was cold, but the people were warm. Yeah. Poet Shake us today. <laughs> Give him a role, guys. Okay. Anyway, so thank you so much for having me, guys. You guys are great. The show is amazing. I can't wait for everyone to watch it. And I can't wait for you to get more awards again because you are. It was great. Yes. Yeah, thank you. It's on. It's on. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. But you are.